guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be converting over to coil and plug on my D16Y8 using the most affordable option that I managed to find out there, uh, which is made by a company called BTO Best Tuning Option, which is out in Poland. Now, just to be clear, I'm not sponsored by these guys. I purchased this with my own money. There's another company out there that also makes a similar kit called JT Lab. They're out in Russia, uh, but they don't respond to emails on whether they ship to North America or not. But I purchased this kit in the white box here for $199 plus shipping, which is $29. So for a total of $228 US, this was shipped to my house. Um, and I have a conversion kit now. Now on top of the conversion kit, you will also need four coil packs. These are coil packs from a D17. They're brand new, obviously buy brand new coil packs. Don't use the used stuff. You don't know if it's broken or not. Um, and as well, a distributor cover to cap off the end after you're done converting it. That's completely optional. You can use your existing cap as well and a mounting plate for the coils, which I've made out of 16 gauge steel and painted it black. Um, they also sell these um, mounting plates online as well. I think a bunch like Burton Racing probably sells one. Um, there's a bunch of other ones, but I decided to make my own because you know, it's not that hard to make. It's literally just a piece of metal. Anyways, um, let's just get started. I'll bring you guys up close to see what we got here. All right, guys, so this is what we have here. Um, this is my mounting plate that I made uh, out of 16 gauge steel. Looks pretty good. Here's my billet aluminum um, distributor cover. These are the coil packs. Let's open up one of the coils just to show you guys what it looks like. These are made in Japan coils. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive. Um, and they're made in Japan, which is good quality stuff. And then now to the star of the show, which is this BTO kit right here. So this kit comes with the wiring harness as well as the module here. Everything is done in the distributor so you don't have to modify your ECU at all, which is the great thing about this. This is all done in your engine bay. So now let's just get started and install this kit. All right guys, so before we get started, make sure you mark your distributor so that you can line it back up later because we're going to be removing the distributor and taking it all apart to put, install the kit. Now, I'm going to start unplugging all the spark plug wires and the, the connectors, and then we're just going to remove the bolts on the distributor, which is three bolts. I'll bring you guys up close right now to show you guys how. All right, so there's a bolt right here on the top here, one on the side right here, and another one on the bottom over here. And that is the three bolts that you have to take off and then the distributor just pops off. But before we do that, we're gonna put a towel underneath just to catch any oil. Um, and like I said, mark your distributor. Jiggle it a little bit because there is a seal on there and you're good. Let's just stuff that in there. Oil. There you go, distributor is out. All right, to start, we're gonna take apart the cap. All you have to do is just undo these bolts on here. It shouldn't be on too tight. This cap is actually, I mean, yeah, this cap is actually brand new. And we will be reusing these screws for the, for the new cap later. So huh, you can see all the spark stuff. And then next, we're going to be removing this rotor piece here. You got to rotate it until you see a um, Phillips head right here. Um, some of them don't have it. Some of them are completely just clipped on. In those cases, you just pry on it and to pop it off. Maybe a little stubborn, but this one should be good. Uh, I'm just gonna get a screwdriver. Make sure you get it right in there. Otherwise, uh, if you slip, you'll strip that screw really easily. And then this should just pop right off. Uh, probably need a flat head to pry on this to get it out. Shit. 
And I broke the rotor. Oh, it is pretty on there tight. This was brand new too. What a waste. Oh, after all that, I jiggled it a little bit and it actually came out. Oh, that was a pain. And I damaged this component here too, which is one of the sensors. All right, well, no going back now. All right, next we're gonna remove all the components in here and just basically be left with just the sensor. So let's just start by taking off these two screws on the bottom here. We're going to be reusing these, but we'll have to disconnect these wires as well. Ignition wire. To unplug this so that one there you go all the components are out now all right so this will be your ICM this one will be TAC and this one is 12 volts which is all we need to wire up to this we have to wire up this piece here this blue one is to the TAC wire White wires to ICM, which is this wire here. And then this wire is to the 12 volt, which we plug into here, which is the red, like so. And then this wire gets pinned to your connector here. Now, it's your CYP wire, so it is basically opposite of this, because this is OBT2A, it would be this wire here. Now I'm just gonna unwrap it, because I think I did some soldering on this thing before to convert it from OBT2B to OBT2A. So it is this orange wire right here that we need to pin. Okay, I think that's good. It's tapped. All right, next we're gonna be installing the module. And the module goes like right here, which fits perfectly. And then we'll use, reuse these screws that we used earlier, or we, that we took out earlier. There we go. Careful with these teeth. All right. Now this gets plugged into here. Then the wire harness gets plugged in to this plug here, and then this actually gets plugged into this power here. So we gotta slip it in somehow. Oh, and I forgot the ground actually gets ground to the, the casing here. Um, so I have to take off the, the, the screws to, to ground the casing. So this gets grounded right here. And one of the things I forgot to mention is I 3D printed a little bushing here because it's going to sit like somewhere around here or somewhere and we're gonna need that bushing to, to seal off on the casing or like the cover. So I 3D printed something out of TPU which would do the job. There we go, bolted in. All this is all wired up now. We should actually be pretty good. I'm just gonna move some of these things out of the way. I guess we don't need this bracket anymore. So I will pull this bracket off because we wanna run the wires around. So brackets off and all the wires to the side like so. 
That way it doesn't go anywhere. And with this wire harness, I'm just gonna tuck this up top like so, so that we can get some slack. And then it's gonna be right there, I think. So we will have to drill a hole in my cap cover because it's gonna sit like this and crimp it down like that. So there's gonna be a hole right here so that it could crimp down. The rest will just be held on like, like that. But let's plug all this stuff in, make sure it works first. All right, bolts back. And then just pop in the coils. We'll install the bracket later. Or actually, let's install the bracket first. So we'll just pop all these coils in. Tighten this thing down now. So that's good. It's all held in place. Not going anywhere. And then I'm just gonna wire all these up. So a good thing about this is it's already in the longest, it's gonna be here, and then it just yeah. Alright, so I may like zip tie these together or something like that so that they are kind of out of the way, and maybe zip tie like that. But I think it looks pretty good. Let's fire it up and See if it works. It's all working. All these are firing up. All right, everything is working. Now we can modify the distributor cover and we can basically seal it up and then we are good to go. I really like how this looks. It looks pretty sweet. And then we will zip tie this. All right, so I've grinded down the hole for the um, this grommet here and a <laughs> drill bit slipped so it obviously chipped up this area that's okay um it still looks fine you can't see it when it's kind of closed and this is facing downwards anyways all right i grinded it down some more it fits better now um i think i might need to grind it out even more but we'll see let's just try to bolt this in first huh. so it looks like the machining on this cover is a little bit off so it doesn't perfectly fit all right, finally got it in. After grinding this thing over and over again, I finally grinded it down and I accidentally nicked it right here, but that's okay. Not too noticeable, I guess. Um, but it fits now, the cover. It takes a lot of work. You have to actually grind the hole down because it's just not proper spacing. So I just filed it down with a, a round file and now it's perfectly aligned and it's good. And I ran this pink wire all the way up here in the where the rubber grommet is so it doesn't pinch the wire. Um, outside of that, here's the grommet that I created with a 3D printer. And that should be pretty waterproof right there. And we're ready to reinstall this thing back in the car. All right, it's all zip tied. I zipped it right here and everything's just out of the way. I think that looks pretty good. Um, let's fire it up one more time just to see if it works.
it is fired up. I guess it took a little bit to fire up. I don't know why. But everything is good. All right, guys, just wanted to provide an update after driving it around with the coil and plug kit installed, just to tell you guys how it drives and how it feels and all that. Um, it drives and feels virtually the same as a distributor. However, with the distributor, the starting of the car, like the cranking over and the firing up of the car is a lot quicker. With this coil and plug kit, um, I actually have to crank it a lot longer before it actually starts up. So before I push the button, it runs a sequence and it'll just fire up the car. Now I have to actually hold onto the button, it keeps cranking until it fires up. So that, the distributor wins in. Uh, the coil and plug kit really isn't better in that aspect. I think in some places they say it fires up the car faster and all that. That's a lie. It doesn't fire up the car faster. It literally slots slower. Um, the other thing I noticed is the initial drive, the first drive out, the um, idle was all weird. Um, for some reason it was bouncing all over the place. It would like sporadically jump um, and at one point it was idling super low almost close to zero and you hear the engine just vibrating um, it hasn't stabilized I think it maybe it just took it a little bit of time for it to like break in or something like that but now it drives virtually the same as having a distributor so I don't really notice if it's smoother or not it drives exactly the same um, the only difference is that when I fire up the car it takes a lot more cranks now um, I'm assuming with a coil and plug kit it's just a lot more reliable versus a distributor, which is, I guess, the only benefit. Um, aside from that, it looks really cool in the engine bay. Anyways, that's my update for after driving it. All right, guys, we are fully converted to coil and plug now. Everything is installed and it's working fine. It looks fantastic in the engine bay. I love the way it looks because it gives it that modern touch. It looks like a performance engine, even though it's completely stock. The thing that gave me the most trouble to, during this whole install was the billet aluminum distributor cap. That thing took forever to just modify and get it to fit because the bolt holes was not cut in like perfectly. So I had to actually modify the holes so that I could actually thread in the bolts. So it is all modified now and I did nick up the distributor cap. So can't really notice too much of it, but it is nicked up. Um, but it looks fantastic overall. Everything is working fine. I haven't driven the car yet, but we know it runs perfectly fine while it's idling. Anyways, this is the BTO best tuning option COP kit with coil on plug kit. Um, so I hope this install helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe and share my videos. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.